These are some Matronix Dolphin power supplies. This is a basic version. This allows you to select different cleaning days and some allow you to change fast and slow modes. Down here we have an advanced power supply. This has more controllable functions for an M5 robot. Matronix later introduced newer style boxes. This is the basic advanced 230 supply. This allows you to set the number of cleaning days per week. Here we have an advanced power supply. This has a Bluetooth control feature via My Dolphin app. You can choose how many days a week the robot cleans. This has added features to select half or full cycle cleans. The end button selection allows a two hour delay. Which power supply is suitable for this project? The original style power supply will not easily come apart. The back was sealed with a hard resin. For this project we will be using the more modern power supply. The later power supply has screws that allow us to access inside. Dolphin Matronix power supply. Here are two power supplies we could modify. This supply allows selection of cleaning days per week. The one on the right here has more functions. They are both advanced 230 models. Is Wi-Fi already available for Matronix Dolphin? You can now buy a Wi-Fi controlled power supply. For $456, you can control your robot using Wi-Fi. They let you activate a weekly timer. Can you fit Wi-Fi to your existing power supply? This is a four relay smart Wi-Fi switch for under $20. You buy a Wi-Fi camera for under $15. Here is how our Wi-Fi controller works. The brand I chose is TUYA for the smart switch. If the robot power supply is off, the app is offline. I power on the Matronix power supply. The flash of the blue LEDs shows power. The TUYA app comes online. I connected the four switched relays to match. Upper left is power. Upper right is weekly timer select. Once a day for seven days. Every alternate day, that's four times a week. Every three days or three times a week. The lower left button is the cleaning mode. This toggles from regular to fast modes. Unfortunately, all screen buttons must be pressed on then off. They are not momentary. The lower right button is the delayed timer. When set to delay, the robot turns on after two hours. How can we see what mode the power supply is in? Now we use a Wi-Fi camera. As mentioned, a Wi-Fi camera can be purchased for under $15. We click on the camera app. We want to check what mode the power supply is in. 
but toggle relays cannot show the mode of the power supply. We can see what mode we have selected by looking at the camera. So for under $35, how is it done? What does the modified power supply look like inside? Open the Matronix Dolphin power supply. Remove 11 small Phillips head screws. You can see where I placed the reset button. The reset is linked to the smart switch, so you can change users. The front panel still fits back on and seals out moisture. The wires we use must be fine. The smart switch needed to be cut up to fit it in. The bank of four relays were cut off to fit. We wanted the smart switch to fit inside the power box. How to install the smart Wi-Fi switch inside? I use fine wires from a corded mouse. The mouse is now cordless. We only want the inside circuit board of the Wi-Fi switch. Even with no case, the board does not fit. The green relay connectors are cut off. The fine wires are soldered to the switches. The wires are fed through existing holes in the circuit board. The high voltage rail is insulated. A micro switch is added to join to the reset of the Wi-Fi board. The fine wires allow the control board to seat right down properly. Do not have too much wire protruding like this. The four relays had to be cut off. Wires are used to reconnect the relays. This allows to fit the board and the relays into the power supply box. A reset switch is wired through an existing hole. 29 volts DC directly powers the smart Wi-Fi switch. Thanks for watching.